Welcome everybody to Tomb Raider 3 on Badass Games, and today I'm going to be giving you Madubu Gorge. This is the third level in the South Pacific Islands. And it's a fun level, it's a long level, but it's also a difficult level. We are given a kayak that we're able to use to traverse some white rot water rapids. I can hardly say that. <laughs> but, um, but it's very difficult to control, and I'm going to try to give you some tips and ideas on how to con maintain control of this thing as we go along. Okay, so, first things first, there is a green lizard, a new enemy. And this guy, if he gets close to you, he's going to try and breathe some of his green breath on you. And we don't want that to happen because it'll poison you, so make sure that doesn't happen. It's a bad thing. Oh, and there's another one over here, too, by the way. So let's take this guy out. Ah! Frick, man, frick. Don't even know if that's a word. Okay, so there's a, a hole here in this awning area that we can climb up. And inside of here, there is some Uzi clips, some grenades, and also a small med pack. So now that we have that, uh, well, actually, there's also a grate here. And that grate we can open and we can go down there, and there's a shortcut for the rest of the level. Now, I'm not going to be taking the shortcut, but I'm going to show you how to open the grate and how to, uh, how to get back to this area so you can take the shortcut. So we want to fall down here. Uh, this is also the proper way to go for the, the remainder of the level. And um, we want to aim for that central platform there in the rapids. Now, last thing to note is that if you do take the shortcut, then you will miss two secrets, so keep that in mind. Okay, so we want to do a running jump over to the slope platform and want to head to the right if you want to take the shortcut. If you don't care about the shortcut, then you want to head to the left. There's nothing else of interest over, over here. Okay, so we want to go two tiles away from the sloped platform with the green stuff on it. And we can pull ourselves up safely. The other, the other ledges are slopes. Now we want to be careful over here. Okay, there are some slopes that will push Lara straight into the water. And this water is deadly to her. I don't know, it's like acid to her. It kills her instantly. So we want to be careful. Very careful. And hop over here, there is the switch that opens that grate that I showed you earlier. So you can press that and then um, be careful and be mindful. And uh, we want to hop back over to this side here. Okay, now we want to walk ever so carefully. And we want to aim for this, for the corner of this ledge here, and then hop and grab and pull ourselves up. Aim for the slope platforms over here, and then slide and grab the edge. Shimmy to the left, and then once you get to the tile with the green stuff on it, you can pull yourself up. And then hold the jump button, and she'll do a backflip onto this central platform. And then you can use this to get back up and take that grate that I showed you earlier in order to take the shortcut. But remember, if you decide to take the shortcut, you will be cutting out two secrets. Okay, so continuing on with the rest of the level, I'm going to run and jump and hop and grab this ledge and shimmy to the left. When you get to the end here, you'll notice a slit in the rock, and we're going to want to take that slit. And in order to do that, we just come over to this tile here, about midway, and then drop and then grab the edge there at the bottom and pull yourself up in the crawl position. Now, just aim yourself for that save crystal and then hold your hands in the air so that way you don't hit your head. Now this button drops that grate you see there now. And that's going to let us get out of here. I don't think there's any other way to get out of this area here that had the save crystal. Alright, then we can jump and grab. There's some monkey bars up here we can use to cross the stream here. Wait, we don't want to cross the streams. Wait, that's something completely different. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, anyway, now that we're on the other side here, I want to drop, and then there's another spot here where we can shimmy over to the left. Once we get to here, we can pull ourselves up. 
Okay, now we want to aim ourselves for those sloped platforms over there. And then do a running jump over there and then slide and grab the edge. And then we can shimmy over to the right to where there is a flat platform and pull ourselves up. Okay. Whoops. Now we come into this area. It's safe to fall here, but this other area right here, we gotta be careful because there are spikes down there. We don't want to fall into those. Remember, spikes are instant death. Uh, what we want to do, though, is we want to we want to fall off here and grab the edge, and then let go, and then do a backflip off of that slope platform, and we'll land safely. Now, if you notice, there's a uh, crawl space here. And as soon as you go underneath there, it's going to spawn a green guy. So we want to actually take this cautiously. So what I do is I put my back flat up against it. And then I crouch. And then I do one step back. And then it should spawn the guy. And then we can just get out of there. Let's hope it did spawn him. Yeah, it did. Sweet. Because if you... Uh, it's, he spawns in that room and it's hard to shoot him... There's his nasty breath. It's hard to shoot him while you're crawling, and trying while trying to avoid his uh, nasty breath. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this crawl space now. Okay, now when you get to this bridge, you might stop and look around, and you'll see the save crystal over there in the distance. That save crystal is impossible to get while taking this path. If you want to take the shortcut, you will be able to grab that crystal because the kayak comes down those rapids, but from this way, it is impossible to grab. Okay, come out here, though. There's another save crystal here to make up for that fact. And by coming over here, it spawned a green guy there in the, uh, in the cave. So we want to try to avoid him, kill him, and then move on. Leave his corpse for some vultures or something. Because Lara kills for sport. Okay, this is the crawl space that I had to use to that I used to spawn this guy here. And we want to head to the right. And head up here. This is gonna spawn another green guy. Watch out for his breath. Die. <laughs> okay, uh, coming over here, there's a switch, and this switch is going to open the door that we passed earlier. I didn't mention it, but it's up there, and I'll show you how to get back up there. Okay, now this is where those spikes were, and we're going to want to walk into here. Now, there's there's a wall that has things you can grab on to climb on, and I haven't figured out actually how to jump up there without taking damage, so we may just have to take some damage, you may just have to take some damage, so be prepared for that. So just jump and grab the wall and then climb yourself up. And then there's another wall that we can climb right here. And this will allow us to get back up to where we came from. That ledge right there to Lara's right, you can't grab it because there's a slope underneath it. And as soon as you try to grab the ledge, you'll slide off. So you have to climb the wall. Alright, now that we're here, this is the door that opened. I originally came from that area over there. And then this is the... Um, this is a new area. Okay, now there's two different ways you can go. And I'm going to show you both ways, only because one of the ways is a, is a secret, and the other way is the actual right way to go. And the right way to go is actually kind of hard to get through. So I'm just going to show them both in case for some crazy reason you don't want to get the secret. And in order to do this, we just want to run and jump over to here. This is the normal way. This is without getting the secret. I'm going to climb up here, and then if you look over here, there, past the waterfall on Lara's left, you'll see a little corner 
of stone sticking out. You want to run and jump and land on that. And then there's another one just below her. It's kind of hard to see. But she'll land on it. And then you can tap look to get rid of that crazy camera angle. Uh, let's see. Now you want to aim for that, that save crystal there. And do a running jump. And then we'll make it inside the cave. Okay, I'm going to reload my game. Um, and then I'm going to actually take the other way. And the other way is through Secret 1, so... Okay, I'm back up at the uh, space where I... Or at the place where I saved the game. Now we're going to go the other direction. Which is through Secret 1. We just want to fall off from where we were. And then we want to aim for that waterfall where the opening is. And that is going to trigger Secret 1. Inside of here, down below, there's a green lizard that we can destroy from up here. Once he's dead, we just want to back off and uh, let go and slide. It's kind of dark down in here, but there's, the only thing that's down here are some MP5 clips. Now this... What the? Now this isn't Secret 1 in its entirety, actually. Secret 1 is kind of big. I'm gonna get rid of this flare, because I've been known to die to flares pretty often in this game for some reason. And we want to do a running jump and grab in the air, and we'll grab this uh, monkey bar thing. Once we get to here, we're safe, but this part sucks. Um, I have a hard time actually doing this one. Uh, you want to slide off and you want to jump at the very end of the slide. It's only one tile long, but it's kind of hard to judge. And Otherwise, you'll fall and hit the, hit the fire. So slide off, jump, and then grab in the air. Oh, I made it! How fortunate for me. Okay, now that save crystal, the platform it's on, it has fire underneath it. As soon as you stand on the platform, it's going to ignite fire. So we don't want to stand on there. We just want to run and jump over it. And you'll claim the save crystal anyway. Now that um, lizard guy, don't need to worry about him too much because, yeah, we don't, we're never going to go down there. Okay, so once we climb up into here, there's a small med pack over here to the left. And then we just want to head on through here. Oh, and there's a dart trap there, by the way. Okay, and then this is the uh, this is the room where I landed when I didn't take secret one. Okay, now uh, let's go get that save crystal first. Now that we have that, we can use these monkey bars to... Oh, I hate that look stuff. We can use this to traverse all the way around and continue on with the level. Alright, and then there's a crawl space. And we come right back out into the open area. Over here, there is a wall you can run and grab. Run, jump, and grab. And climb up. Now, we're about to get Secret 2, and this is actually kind of a hard secret to grab because you have to land on this slope right in front of Lara. And it's very narrow, very hard to hit, but I'm going to show you how to actually hit that every single time. So you want to make sure you're all the way up against this wall to the to Lara's right, and then make sure your, your back is against that slope. And then take two large steps forward, and then do a backflip, and then slide off and grab the ledge. And that'll cue Secret 2. Alright, now Secret 2 its items are actually inside of this hut.
and it consists of a large med pack and a rocket. So it's definitely a really good secret. Now we want to make our way back to that uh, grate over there. I'm trying to be cautious. I don't want to fall in the water. Alright, now that we're on this grate, this is a really tricky jump, so what we want to do is we want to go all the way to the corner of this grate, make sure we're all the way to the left, all the way to the front, and then take a step back, and then angle Lara for that ledge over there in the distance. Okay, that's what we're trying to, what we're trying to land on. But we got to be careful because there is this little thing jut jutting out that will, Lara will hit her head and she'll fall into the water, so we don't want that to happen. Alright, so... Why did I grab in the air? I don't know why I did that. Okay, um, I'll see you guys back at the spot because there's really not much I can do from here. Alright guys, I'm back here and uh, let's do this jump again. Um, don't grab in the air. <laughs> it's a bad thing. Bad idea. Um, yeah, so make sure you're in the corner. Take a step back. Aim for the platform. Watch your head. Run and jump and then sort of veer to the right and you will land perfectly in the corner, I guess. Which is nice. Now we're back at the spot where I crawled out before, and then we just kind of retrace our steps a little bit. Alright, now we get to go into the room where the kayak is, but before we can actually get in there, there's some alligators in the water that we want to kill. We actually want to uh, pull a lever that's in the water to open up that gate you see there on the right. One down, one to go. Okay. Now that the waters are safe, you can fall in there, and there is a lever right here. And that's going to open that gate. Now, um, let's get in that kayak. Let me save my game, and then I will um, show you t uh, talk a little bit about the control of the kayak. Okay, so for the controls with the kayak, it's pretty intuitive. You know, left is left and right is right. Um, however, turning left and right is very slow, if you notice. It's kind of like, damn, man, it takes me that long to turn around. Yeah, and there's another important factor about this kayak, okay, and that's when you press forward, she dips her right oar in the water. That's the first thing she does, right oar in the water. And if you'll notice, it actually turns her to the right when she does that. It makes sense. It should do that. But the thing is, is that when you turn to the left and then press forward, you lose some of that leftward momentum, whereas the right way is the opposite. When you turn right and then press forward, she dips her right oar in and you gain rightward momentum. So that makes the kayak really, really difficult to control. Um, yeah, just keep that in mind when you're trying to do this. Now, over there is the first rapid we have to go down. I actually like to go down this backwards, uh, because at the end, we want to head to the left of the rapid instead of going straight. And it's very difficult to uh, do that if you're going straight. Okay, so we want to head down here backwards, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now, another key thing about the kayak is that speed is your enemy. You do not want to go fast in this thing, regardless of what's going on. Well, there is... It's okay to go fast sometimes, but... Down rapids? No. You want to go slow down rapids, regardless of what's going on. Okay, now that we're out here, we want to head over here to the left. And this will put us out in the opening... The opening that we were running around and jumping through. And the reason why we're in here is because there's a save crystal over here to the left. 
a very difficult save crystal to grab because of all the rocks and everything that that are in this area. Let's see if I can grab this thing. Slow is fast though, slow is fast here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Yeah. Oh goodness. Okay. Now we're gonna be faced with our next rapid, and I like to go down this rapid at an angle, at a particular angle, and that angle is this way. There's the rapid. There's my angle. Now the reason why I do that is so that way I can control her speed backwards like this, and also it angles me to the right. I avoid a red trip wire, which I'll explain a little bit, and I'm able to avoid fall damage. So it helps a lot. Um, that area there that you saw me pass behind Lara, that is where the shortcut comes out, and that's where the two paths converge between the shortcut and the long cut. So from here on out, this includes both the shortcut and the long way that we just took. Now here's a green trip wire, and uh, what this is going to do is actually going to shut off a trap. You heard those blades? Well, now they're off. There's a red trip wire over there, and you can see why I decided not to go that way. Red is bad, green is good. Just keep that in mind. Okay, now there's another rapid right here that I like to go down backwards to avoid fall damage, and it gives me more control uh, when I get down there in order to uh, prevent myself from uh, heading the direction I don't want to go. Okay, now that I'm finally off that drop, I'll head to the steer myself to the left, and then I will head this direction. Behind Lara, there is another passageway you can go but there's uh, spikes and there's blades and it's very unsafe okay so now that we're in this area we want to head to the steer to the left I'm trying to get in there where that red tripwire is yes a red tripwire I know but the thing is is um it activates a trap that really doesn't hurt Lara it activates this dart trap but it doesn't hit me so I'm not too afraid of it okay now that we're here we actually want to kind of slow her down. There's a green tripwire that, down here that I'm trying to get. I just want to go slowly. There it is. Okay, now that we trip that, I actually want to head out of this area, going this way. I'm trying to avoid the rocks. And trying to avoid those red trip tripwires. Now I kind of want to turn over and make her face this way. Avoid that red trip line, and then there's another one right there I gotta avoid. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to face this way. Now there's another large rapid behind me that I'm about to take. And there's another way you can go on the other side of this building if you want to go ahead and go through some of these trip wires, or if you end up going that way anyway. Um, but it's really unsafe there are some spikes that you can go through this way is a little bit more safer if you're cautious about it so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take this way now I wanna as you can see I'm going really really fast I actually wanna get out here somewhere in the middle there's a save crystal that's really difficult for me to grab and I'm gonna see if I can't get it oh come on Lara and you wanna always constantly go forward no I missed the save crystal oh well all right, now that we're down here at the bottom, take a look up at this thing. Yeah, you can see why I didn't want to go fast down that at all. I would have fell and actually died. Okay, now that we're actually out here, um, there's a there's our first rapid that we want to actually climb. So let's go do that. And it's going to bring us into this large area here, and I think I'm going to save my game. Alright, so the proper way to go would actually be up those rapids over there to the left. However, there's still secret number three that we can claim, and um, we can go get that right now. And if we decide to wait until later, which we can do, we will miss a save crystal. So let's go get this right now. Lara would hurry her butt up. Get in there, Lara. 
Why are you going so slow? I guess, I mean, there is a current here. Oh, I hate that right or dip when I hit forward. I guess there is a current here, which is uh, probably the reason why she's going so slow, but dang, this water does not look that bad. Okay, and you see the uh, save crystal there in the distance? That's basically secret number three, but um, there's also a large med pack and some MP5 clips there on the ledge. And uh, we can't get that right now because, well, we're in a kayak. But we will have an opportunity to come back and grab those later when we get on foot. So we not should not worry about those for now. All right, we got the save crystal, so let's get out of here. Turn yourself, Lara. Now you're cooking. Okay, now that's probably the only time it's safe to go fast is in that area because there's no rapids or traps we're trying to worry about. Now let's head up these rapids over here. <laughs> wow, she moves faster up these things than she did in that other water. What's up with that? I think the physics are off in this game. Maybe just a little bit. Get over there. There's the opening I'm trying to get to. Oh, hello, alligator. Yeah, I hate alligators. Oh, boy. Okay, fine. If you're going to eat on me, then you're going to eat on me, I guess. Swim down and then up, because the alligators can't swim as up and down as fast as you can. And that'll uh, slow him down. Just make sure you don't get eaten by him. And it's going to spawn one of these uh, lizard guys with the bad breath when you come up on the ledge, so be careful about that. Alright, now let's head down here. And if you look up, there's uh, some monkey bars that we can use to traverse above this uh, open area and a horrible camera angle that you can cancel with look button. And yeah, and some fire that we have to avoid. And isn't that fun? Laura, I think you're constipated. Right, so time yourself and then go. Very nice, very nice. Of course, that's not the last one either, so... I <laughs> uh, hope I didn't speak too soon. I'm known for that, you know, I say a lot of crap. I'd be like, yeah, this, that, and that, and then... Um, something completely opposite of what I say happens. Yeah, I feel like a complete jackass when that happens, just so you guys know. Alright, so now that we're here, let's do a running jump over to this ledge. Watch your head, Lara, and claim the rocket launcher. Yes, the rocket launcher. Now, the rocket launcher is actually a really, really good weapon. However, it has a really slow reload time, and you get barely any ammo in the entire game for it. Um, this entire time, I've only ha I still only have five rocket launcher rockets. So, yeah, it's a great weapon, but um, it has its downsides. I still believe the Desert Eagle is a much better weapon than any other weapon in the game. Alright, so now we're over here where uh, we got Secret 3 in the kayak, and we can now claim the large med pack and MP5 clips that are that are here. 
I'm aiming myself for these for the uh, white rapids that's on the stone because um, I have I've I've had an issue when I was practicing the level of her actually not grabbing the ledge and it's really irritating when that happens. So yeah. Okay, okay, continuing on. The right way to go is actually up here. I lit a flare, keep that in mind. Uh, flares are bad for me. I don't like using flares very much <laughs> when it comes to needing to climb on stuff. So let me drop it. Let's grab these monkey bars and there's the next flame we gotta worry about. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Good, good, good. All right. Now, here, there are actually two paths you can go. You can go either left or right. Um, I'm going to go to the left first because there are items over here. And going to the right is the proper way to go, and you'll finish off the level if you do that. So let's go get these extra items before we decide to head that way. We want to get all the way up to the end here and then let go just to make sure you're safe. And here are those items, some flares, which have been very rare recently, and some uh, shotgun shells, which have also been very rare. Okay, 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 okay. Now let's monkey bar our way over to the other side. And as always, make sure you're all the way to the end, just to make sure that you fall off in the proper spot. Okay, now, there is uh, this area here, we just gotta take a running jump, there's a ledge over here that we can land safely on. And now there's these spikes here. This would have been the path that, I, that you would have taken if you were didn't go down the rapid backwards. A particular rapid. I'm not going to explain exactly which one. Um, but these spikes here, if you take a running jump from this corner, I believe you'll take damage. I have I tried it and I did. So just take a few steps over and then uh, do a running jump and do it that way. You'll avoid taking damage. And now let's climb on this boring wall while Lara goes very slow to the left. She goes up fast, but... Come on, Lara. You can do it. I know you can. Go faster. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm squeezing that X button right now. Pressing down on it hard, trying to make sure that she uh, has a firm grip on this wall. Basically, letting go at any point in this wall is going to be instant death, and we don't want that. No, we want instant life, if there is such a thing. Okay, now we're safe to let go. And here we go, light a flare. Oh, more climbing stuff, and I've got a flare lit. Oh, this is the boulder trap area. Yeah, we wanna, uh, don't have to sprint, but we need to squat right here. And let the boulder go over us. Now, this is not the last one. There's actually one up here. And there's one behind her. You gotta kinda turn and make it into this area. Watch out for the fire! <laughs> wow, that could have been bad. There's no water around here to put myself out. Okay, and then we just want to uh, hop over this fire, like so, and then there's another boulder. 
I almost tr I almost hit the sprint button instead of uh, <laughs> the squat button. Okay, am I anywhere near done? Probably not. No, I'm still in this area. Okay, let's do a running jump over to here. And climb up the wall. Climb to the left. And then at some certain point, there's a uh, piece of rock jutting out from the wall. And it looks like Lara is just going to climb down and not even concern be concerned with it. That's cool. I can dig that. And then we're good to go. Now there's a crawl space here. Okay. Now let's hop. Is a hop going to be good? Yeah, hop should be good. And now we want to aim for that ledge over there. When in doubt, reach him out. Yeah. I'm so afraid I'm going to fall in these waters. Is that hoppable? That's hoppable. Okay, and now that save crystal over there you see on the ledge, that was the save crystal that I spawned when I tripped the green tripwire in, in this area when I was on the kayak. I really like it when they uh, make you go back through part of the level in a different way. Like, I really love the fact that I came through here on a kayak and now I'm coming through on foot. That is so cool. I really like it when games do that. Alright, and here we are. The zip line. The zip line is going to take us down here, but we have to know when to uh, let go. Ah! What the heck? Whoa, that was close. Um, yeah, I would have fell down there. I didn't let go in time. Okay. Now, um, get my shotgun handy. There's gonna be a, um, a green lizard guy up here that's gonna try and puke all over Lara. So we gotta be prepared for such things. Whoa, jump backwards! Wow, <laughs> that was close. Oh, man, so many close calls in this level. I have no idea how I'm doing this. Oh, and here's the lever. This lever is going to cause things to spin and do cool things. But what it actually did is it raised that plug, if you remember this chain that was in that area when we were kayaking. It caused it to raise, and now there's a huge whirlpool in that area. I don't know why I came down here. I should have stayed up there. And, yeah, so now we have to grab the kayak and go into the center of the whirlpool. <laughs> so crazy. Like, I would never think to do that in real life. Like, be like, okay, well, here's the uh, whirlpool. Maybe I need to go down in it. Blow that guy away. Okay, so where is this going to take me? Right here to where the kayak is. Alright. And I'm going to blow away that frickin' alligator. I should have done that earlier. What was I thinking? Yeah, get some. Okay, now let's hop into the kayak. And let's head back.
I don't know why I'm going backwards. I just guess I decided to do that. Um, I guess maybe because I was afraid of going down the rapids too fast. Oh, and now she's stationary in the middle of rapids. That's clever. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna save my game before I head down here. Um, I would suggest maybe doing the same, but you also want to make sure your life is topped off. However, I think I have plenty of life. Uh, well, I can't see my life bar, but I saw it when I fell. So I have a lot of life. So I think I'm going to be able to actually get through this level too without using a med pack. That is a godsend. I have no idea how the heck I'm doing this. Um, but I'm doing it. And whoa, go back down backwards. I'm going to try to prevent myself from taking too much fall damage because too much fall damage would be bad. I may even actually kill myself. Come on, Lara. Slower. Slower. Too fast, too fast, slower. Too fast. Slower, slower. Here's a drop. <laughs> oh, and there's an alligator. Groovy. I hate these alligators. Like, why do you want to mess with me? I did nothing wrong to you. But I suppose you do, and, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out a good spot to get out. Yeah, this is a decent spot, maybe. Get, go, go! Yes, Lara! You rule! Get up on that wall! <laughs> that guy tried to take out some uh, piece of meat off my leg, but he was unsuccessful. I'm gonna kill you, because uh, I need to get in that water now and pull a lever. That's going to open that door. And that door is the end of the level, guys. So, but also, pulling this lever spawns two alligators. Dos. Alligators. I don't know what alligators is in Spanish. So, let's get those lever pulled and get out. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is the Madubu Gorge, ladies and gentlemen. I have claimed all the secrets. And I use no health packs. I will see you guys next time. I'm Badass Games, and you're watching Tomb Raider 3. Later.